Hello and salut everybody. Welcome back to Chatting with Nicole. So I had an opportunity to witness, to participate in a marriage uh, retreat. You know, um, when I say marriage, couples retreat, that's the right word. And it was, well, you had a chance to bring a friend or a family member um, to observe. You cannot be part of the activities and the conversations. You know, you cannot participate in it, but you can listen. Um, sometimes you can actually be on, a, you know, far, you know, far from everybody, but you can listen um, to what is going on, the activities and the sessions. And I was, you know, privileged enough because I wanted to I ask a friend of mine who was going through it. So they brought me along. And I have, <laughs> I've been through this and I have learned so much through here. Um, and I will not say what it is or who it is because of privacy reasons. Uh, but I did promise that I will not, this will just be, I will talk about this, but it will just be general. So from what I have learned, um, I have friends, most of my friends, I have a lot of friends who are married in a relationship. I have my own, you know, family, my own brothers, and, you know, they are, you know, married people, <laughs> I should say. So I have seen a lot and I, I have a relation, you know, I have a experience of how my parents, um, their, their relationship, you know, their marriage. So, and I've seen, of course, we have social media, we hear stories about marriages and the, the good, the bad, and the ugly, you know, the divorces and everything else. And I, I felt like after this, you know, I have always wanted to, to have a conversation anyway, but after this, I wanted to just, you know, come here and, and have us chat about something, um, about marriage. Um, so I, 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 um, from everything that I heard, from everything that I've seen, uh, the problems that, you know, these couples are having and discussing and going back and forth, the issues and the problems, their children, relationships, everything about marriage. What I got out of all of this, again, this is just my side. You guys will have different sides. You guys will have your own, you know, something else. That's why we are having this conversation. We are chatting right here. So from everything that I've seen, the problems and the issues, um, and it's not all, but I think the most, the, 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 one of the problems that I see that tops it all is the reason, well, one of the reasons for all that we are going through in our marriages and, you know, relationships, um, well, I'm not going to say relationship. Well, marriage relationships is part of a marriage, right? So, because I want to specifically stay with you know, marriage, um, couples in a marriage in their relationship and what is going on, the good, the bad, and the ugly, the misunderstanding, the misconstruing of marriage, of why people are married and the expectation of, from one, um, or the other. I think, I think that the main reason that I seen the problems that I saw the problem that I hear about is that people are getting married for the wrong reasons. And before you chew my head off, listen, hear me out. I think it's because people got married. Those people, the issues that I've seen, I think the number one for me, remember, I say, I think to me, because we all can, you know, can, can hear a story and have a different perspective and have a different ways of and take different takeaway from it. Let me get it right, right? So what I've taken away, what I have taken away from all these stories and the problems that I've seen in marriages is the fact that they gotten, those people gotten married for the wrong reasons. Because if you are here, you expecting the expectation uh, from one or the other, the, uh, the, the wife or the husband, from all the issues, the complaints, you know, um, the ac accusations, I realized that it's because of the wrong reason, because you got married for the wrong reasons. If you got married and you expecting that your happiness is going to come from your wife or your husband, that is a wrong reason because now you are finding that he's not making you happy. It's because your expectation was wrong. 
If you got married because you wanted him to make you a better person and make you rich, take care of you, that is the wrong reason. If you got married because you want to, you are getting old and you just want to be, part, you know, you want to be like the other people. You want to, you, you want to be called a wife, missus. That is the wrong reason. If you got married because you said that, well, you are getting old, you need a baby, you need a child. So you jump on the next person you saw. That's a wrong reason. If you got married for a fame, for a house, for money, that is a wrong reason. That is a wrong reason because when that is not happening, <laughs> then we have a problem. If you're counting on him to make you happy, that is a problem. He's not going to make you happy. Then we, 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 we have a problem when the money is not there or when he refused or whatever, we have a problem. So I see, and I feel like it's the wrong, the issues that we are having in these marriages is because you got married for the wrong reasons. You get married for, for to compliment one another, to help one another, not for that person to help you or that person to make you happy. You're supposed to make each other happy. But if you're counting on one person, the other person to make you happy, you are not happy yourself. That's wrong. Before you even get married, you need to be happy. You need to be happy. You just want somebody to compliment you. You know, like you, you, you need to know that where I am right now, even without him, you know, I'm okay. He does not have to make me happy. She does not have to make me happy. You cannot just say, I want to get married just because of a child, just because you're getting old, then you jump in a relationship. That's a wrong reason. So I am not here to accuse anybody. I am not here to, to tell you that, oh, you know, you did it wrong. No, I'm just not here. I'm just saying that the issues that I saw, that I experienced, the problem in our marriages is me, I feel like, what I got out of it, again, just me, the top reason why we are having this is because we got married for the wrong reasons. And I even say that there, there was somebody who said, and, and I, I say this after, again, I wasn't there. We were just having a dinner. I, I say this and somebody said, well, if that's the case. Then I need to start over. What I say was, I really believe, I truly believe. That in order for us before we get married, no matter how you feel about this person, no matter how handsome that person is, no matter how he feel, he makes you shake, no matter how he makes you feel. I think the first thing we need to do before we get into marriage, before we even marry somebody is to pray. <laughs> I know, I know we don't want to hear about that, but we need to pray when you meet somebody. And your heart is just pumping, you know, you just like, this is it. This is the man for me. This is, this is my destiny. This is my husband. This is the chosen one. Still pray, still ask God, Lord, this is what my heart is telling me, but is it your, your choice for me? And th is this the man that you created me for? Because God has said he created every woman. For men, that, that's why I believe I have my man that God created me for. I know he's somewhere because I truly believe in that. So God said he created every woman for a man. So even though you feel your own being, everything is telling you that this is the man, still pray. Ask God if this man, no matter how my heart is feeling, no matter how I'm feeling, no matter how old I am, if this man is not mine, then remove him. Is this man your man for me? Is this man that you created me for? Pray for God's guidance and submit everything in, his, in God's hands. Pray. I think the one thing we need to do is to pray. If you meet this woman and this woman is just, you just love her. You know, you just, everything telling you, still pray. Ask God, submit it in God's hands. 
Submit your relationship in God's hands. Pray because we don't do that. We jump in it without praying. So that's what I said. And the guy said, well, then I need to start over because I didn't pray. No, <laughs> you don't start over. You don't say, okay, I'm going to divorce you. I'm going to leave you. Now I'm going to sit and pray for the my chosen one to come to me. No, you don't do it that way. You already were this person already. So what you need to do, if you're already in a relationship, you're already married and you're having problems, you're having issues, and you didn't pray before it happened, you didn't submit it in God's hands, I'm not saying leave and start over. No, that person is still your, your wife. Is He's still your husband. You are one. Because in the Bible, God said, when we are married, we are one. So what you need to do instead, instead of saying, I'm going to leave, you know, and start over. No, you need to pray. Now you need to pray. Yeah, you didn't pray before, but the two of you need to pray and ask God to help you. Whatever your difficulties, whatever your circumstances, whatever your problems, the money problem, relationship problem, trust problem, whatever it is. Financial, whatever your problem is currently today in your relationship, in your marriage, pray, pray, pray about that. I promise you, pray. Don't, don't start over. Pray before you get divorced and before you do all of that, pray. The two of you pray for each other, pray for your relationship, pray for your marriage, pray for God to reconnect stuff, to rearrange stuff. To give you the patience, the understanding, the love, the compassion, the generosity, the humility, the will, the understanding of one another. So that is my suggestion. That's what I, I got out of it. So my message here, in case I do so that I, it's not confusing, because this is not planned. I am just saying, before you get married, pray to God, ask God to know he's, he, he's guiding his way for you, his will for you and ask him if this man is not your man, it is not the man that you chosen for me, remove him in my way. I only want to marry the man that you selected, you choose for me, that you see worthy of me before that happens, no matter how the man makes you feel, pray, ask God, let God choose for you. Let God say, this is it for you. When you do that, then he's with the both of you. He chosen him for you. I promise you, I am not, I promise you that what we are feeling, the issues that we are having, if we pray before we got into, to, into this relationship, these marriages, I'm sure that it won't be go, it, it won't be as worse as we see it today. So if you are right now, you are planning to get married. I'm talking to me myself too. <laughs> if you're looking for a, a, a husband or a wife, I want to recommend all of us, we need to pray first. And if we meet somebody, we need to submit that person in God's hand. We need to ask God to lead us, to select for us. We need to ask God, if it's not his, he needs to remove it in our way. But we need to be married to the man that he chosen, the woman that he chosen for us. If you're not married yet, right? So including myself. But if you're already married, even if you're not having issues, it's important that we pray for our marriage. We pray for each other. Pray for your wife. Pray for your husband. Pray for your children. But if you're having difficulty right now, you're having to go to a counselor. And remember, a counselor is just like you. She's having her own problems. You know, we've seen it all the time. The counselor is sitting there talking to, you know, her own, you know, separation, set up a little bit, her, her husband or his wife having her, you know, their own issues. All of us, we have issues. So counselor is not going to solve your problems. You know, so basically if you're having the issues right now, I'm not saying don't go to them. I'm just saying, pray. If you're having issues and you know, even if you pray before you got into this marriage, you still need to pray. So that was my recommendation to everybody. Just pray. Pray. I am not saying that you're just going to see a poof like a, a miracle. One day you just pray, everything will go back to normal. But don't give up. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Let God lead you and guide you. And instead of hating each other, saying, I hate you. You know, I'm going to do this. Threaten me. Pray for them instead. You know, pray for your husband that you can't stand. 
You know, he's just doing everything wrong way. He's just getting on your nerve. Even though you love him, would he make your, your heart jump every time you saw him. Now you see him, you just want to kill him. I'm, you know, you just want, now you see him, you just want him to disappear. Let me use that word instead. When you're feeling that way, pray for him. Instead of hating him, continue to hate him, pray for him. If she's doing this, she used to be the one you will die for. Now, you know, that's the one is the opposite. Pray for her. Pray for her. It's important that we pray for our enemies. It's important that we pray for our children. It's important that we pray for our spouses. So pray for them. So that's my message. That's that's what I got out of this. This is not the uh, one, you know, fit all. I know that it's not one fit all. Marriage is not one size fit all. I know that. But what I see, the issues that I'm seeing, I'm just saying we need God's intervention in your marriage. If you don't have God in your marriage right now, you need God in your marriage. If God is not involved in your, you know, fiance, you know, your, a, what do you call it? In your relationship, in your marriage right now for you to get married. If God is not involved in your choosing of your husband, choosing of your wife right now, I am recommending, I am suggesting that you pray first before you say, I do. Let God say, I do. I agree with you before you say, I do. Get God's agreement before you say, I do. It's important. So that's what I want to share with you guys today. Whatever, again, that's just my side. What is your side? Whatever is your side, whatever your side, whatever you think you know, that I miss or your feeling about this, let's hear it. But until then, stay safe and blessed and I'll see you on the next one.